Imagine living in the Lake District National Park and this being your driveway, having this barn conversion, this one bedroom annex, a massive barn, uh, uh, farm house at the top here with a barn with potential to add additional space and another one bedroom annex, potentially giving yourself your own hamlet with the views over the Pennines like this and mountain views in every direction. Welcome to Bampton in the Lake District National Park. Today we are here to see something rather unusual. We have got, as I've said before, um, two main residents, two annex, several acre, acres of land, all sat in an elevated position with the most spectacular views that I have pretty much seen all over um, the Pennines and all of the rolling hills that leads between this part of the Lake District National Park and the Pennines. Um, the uh, houses themselves, I'm gonna give a quick run around, but there's so much to see because they're so big. Um, but this as an opportunity is pretty much the first time I've had um, four dwellings within one location in my entire over 20 year career. And this is something that is renovated to an exceptionally high standard, doesn't need any work from anybody that moves in and is uh, yeah a very wonderful opportunity. We do have the main house has a um, listing on it but it has some real quirks which means it should in my opinion be listed and um, and quite rightly is so um, but that doesn't impact on the pleasure and the usability of this site um, but everything else that surrounds here is absolutely stunning and you're going to see that from the rest of this video. So with no further ado, I'm going to give you a quick tour around and you can make your own opinions and what you think. I hope you like it. Okay, so let's take a peek inside. So as we enter in, this is absolutely beautiful renovation, perfectly done throughout um, and very high quality. Um, the accommodation flows beautifully as well. So got a lovely sitting room, nice wooden floors, a great wood burning stove, and then absolutely spectacular views out the front. The kitchen as we walked in is of a great standard, lovely high quality finish, and even a lilac colored agar, which is very pleasant. Um, in here, we've got lovely big storage cupboard, um, well, actually, a little um, area that goes to the back door. A great utility room. And that finishes off with a brown floor shower room, which is again done with a great standard. I'm just going to pan up because you've got this beautiful galleried area, a bit of glass. Contemporary, interesting, beautiful. Let's have a look upstairs. So another lovely feature. We've got this curved spiraled staircase, but not a spiral staircase like you remember from the 1980s. Um, and as I mentioned downstairs, these great glass areas with local sandstone, more glass, really giving a beautiful vibe to here. I haven't popped the lights on, but I should. We've got a wonderful size bedroom in here. The views are quite lovely little bits of hidden storage and then finished off with a very tastefully done ensuite. Um, going through looking at the other bedrooms we've got another good size double bedroom in here with fitted wardrobes and everything else you could need and then a absolutely beautiful master bedroom with huge fitted wardrobe space, or sorry, huge standalone wardrobe space, but plenty of space to fit it if you wanted. A nice outward view over the gardens. And then this rather lovely double glazed area looking out over the Pennines. Perfect. Topped off in here with another ensuite. Everything in this house is finished to an absolutely spectacular standard, move-in ready, and the attention to detail is very much over and above where you expect. I'm going to show you a little bit of outside. So let's have a brief look outside. 
This is Lower, lower Cahulan. We have a one bedroom um, kind of annex uh, for this property just here. Um, and this is the front of the property, which is rather lovely, beautifully done, as you can see from the inside and the outside. Got a nice hot tub area. What you also have is this paddock all the way back to here and all the way along and those views stunning so i'm going to take you a little bit further up and explain a little bit more um and uh yeah that will uh hopefully give you a better understanding of what lower carlham carlham provides so as promised one stunning period property coming up so things that we'll notice as we come in sandstone flag flooring some lovely original doors and our first room is this lovely sitting room complete with window seats and rather nice views outward but there's so much history within this house the sandstone fireplaces are stunning we've got a bit of beam work you have the everything you could want from a period property but these ven the vendors here have really really maintained this well and have looked after it very lovingly and that includes even things like the furniture that are in here that really complements this type of property so coming through into this kitchen family room again these old period doors thankfully nobody has taken anything away and I'm going to show you this room properly, but the ceiling beams and the floors, I mean, they are something to behold. And you can see how, how much age they've got. The sandstone fireplace, again, stunning. And that is one heck of a size of, um, of a multi-fuel burning stove. This is a little beauty. We've got a original salt cupboard. I love these things. And again, Great windows, a really lovely taste and sense of uh, decor in here as well, which does complement this style of property. I'm just going to stand back here a little bit and give you a, a broader scan because this is quite a substantial room. I mean, as you can see here, we've got a 10 to 12 seater table and it fits there absolutely perfectly. So then we come into the kitchen area. Now, the kitchen, we've got a bit of granite work surfacing. Um, a nice inset Arga with some sandstone surround. And it's a really lovely, tasteful kitchen that fits with um, this room and gives a bit of a blend, actually, uh, to give a bit of that slightly contemporary with slightly, um, with, with very, very period. I mean, even, again, the property geek in me, little things like this. People don't need to do it and retain it, but this has. So again, we've got these great doors again, perfectly of the era. And I would be gobsmacked if they're not original. And then we've got a very lovely contemporary shower room. And that shower is almost triple length, I would say, with a uh, nice uh, finish, gray, very modern fit but fits nicely, which is where those contrasts come in well. Staircase, pretty. The view out the back is over towards those substantial barns and lovely balustrading. So I'm getting to my exciting bit in a minute, which is gonna put some of you off, but it's definitely not gonna put me or somebody else that likes this style of property off. These original doors again, I mean, they are oh, absolutely lovely. We've got a nice, um, nice bathroom here, which leads through to the master bedroom, but I'm not going to show you that quite now. A heritage roof light that looks out towards the barns. So then, as we come through here, we've got a nice bedroom laid out ready for guests. And a great shower room in white. So nothing offensive in there whatsoever. And very clean and inviting. I mean, I hope my video can do this justice, and I know it won't, but some of these doors are absolutely fantastic. You're gonna be sick of me talking about this, but this is where it gets very, very exciting. 
we have a very, very panelled room, which is the landing, which leads through. And these, very, look, I mean, I've got quite big feet and these floorboards are enormous and they're quite slopey, which is just at the age. You can see that this is, a lot of this is hand sawn, hundreds and hundreds of years old. I mean, what's in it? The fact that things like this still exist and still survive just amaze me. And uh, yeah, what a, what, a, what a place. So we've got nice beam ceilings in here. This is a double bedroom. Again, this has been a whole house let. So um, this is a nice family, family room. And the view out of the window again, over towards that rather lovely barn. Now something else, which is quite a nice feature. We have another salt box up here. That's an absolute beauty. I'm just gonna peek out of the window because every window to the front has these exceptional views out over towards the Pennines and the Howgills. Couple of nice fitted wardrobes here. And then an opening that leads through into a beautifully and tastefully done ensuite. So we're two bedrooms down, um, two decent sized bedrooms and two ensuites. Um, and then back into the hallway, we come into this rather pretty room, which has got, which is currently a twin, but it's a nice decent sized double. Again, with beam ceilings and views out over towards the fells. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. I mean, this is my, this is again, the back end of another door here, which uh, throughout this is oozes history. It's got that real, um, almost, dare I say it, it's of that age that it has a kind of castle-like feel in some of its elements. Um, the panelling and things like that give it a bit more of a regal feel. And then when you come into here and you've got a beam ceiling, complete with a, uh, with, with, with a, vin with a very old um, four-poster bed and furniture which really complements this type of house, it kind of sets this real scene of opulence, which it truly is. And I can see why these guys are full all of the time, should you want to use this as a whole house let. But I mean, in reality, this is going to be somebody's house that they're going to live in and love and cherish and try and make up stories as to what happened to it over the years. Um, but uh, that it concludes the first floor. So I'm just going to flick back downstairs because we've got another couple of bits to look at. I mean, there's a nice little cellar in here. If we note on the floor, which I think is really important, we've got sandstone flags throughout. Um, the, the fireplace over here has this lovely sandstone um, half. And then this extra room, we've got a quite a large utility room, complete with a um, another kind of Argus style um, like oven in here, which is great for overflow cooking if you want to entertain a lot. Um, but a great space. I mean, if you've got dogs and muddy, ki muddy kids, then it's a great place to be able to pop them out of the way. So that concludes the house, but it doesn't conclude the vast amount of space that we've got to work with. So now I'm gonna walk you through the next steps and um, take you to see the barns. So the first scan round that we've got is majestic views. We've got this barn and then another adjoining barn, which is very significant. They've got a games room here. So I'm gonna scoot into the games room first and then show you how they adjoin and how this could potentially be extended as, um, yeah, as, as you see fit. So coming into this games room, Currently got a nice uh, pool table. And there's the doorway that leads straight directly into the barns. And this lovely sandstone, this lovely Lakeland sandstone is stunning. And this area here would take you to the back of the kitchen. So if you wanted to merge everything together and create one entire dwelling, obviously clearly subject to planning, but as it's adjoining, I'd find it um, unusual that, that you wouldn't be able to convert it. That access here combines everything together and then makes this into a sitting room. And then you have the most unbelievable views out and across the fells, but that is the key. So let's go out and I'll show you 
how that is how that's a usable area so we've got these fantastic barns now they've got windows the, the doors have been well done the roof line and everything else looks in absolutely spotless nick so it seems like this is a great starting block that's already been commenced to be able to kind of take something forward and there's windows in here as well so the extension of this seems to be quite practical to do I'd personally try and get consent to put glass through here so that you've got a corridor that runs through into the next stage of your development. And this even, well, the house doesn't come with it, but this is one of my favourite things I've seen in somebody's house. It's about twice the height of me. It's quite, quite fun. So now I'm going to take you into the barns because the barns are wow. So we'll come in here. I'll go all the way to the back and I'll use the uh, ladder that's at the end here. So what we have is where this would be, sorry, let me come into the light. Um, this would be where you would um, make access through from the other barn to interconnect the houses. And then we have this absolutely cavernous barn space. Good height, good beams, roof is fantastic. Even if you just had this as a party space, it's unreal. If you wanted to convert it and look at something else, it's there to do. Um, you would need to get consent. And that's something, obviously, you would need to speak to the Lake District National Park about. But it adjoins the main house and it is usable space. So if you want an absolute whopping great house, then you probably could make this into, I would say, somewhere between five and 7,000 square feet of space which is absolutely incredible. Um, but it doesn't stop there because we have, I'll just pop that gate closed. We have another extra pet section here, which is being used for storage. I will open it to just give you a bit of a better idea. And then you've got a couple of little buyers in here, which are great for a bit of storage, bit of overflow. I mean, who doesn't need a bit of storage? No matter how big the house, well, actually the bigger the house, the more storage you tend to need. If you ask my wife to be that, I'm sure she would <laughs> she will agree. And I'm just going to stop here because this is one of my favourite views and show you that those views in the distance. And they're not clouds; they are mountains, and it is stunning. So I'm going to go into the garden, the main formal gardens of this house. I mean, there's loads of land here. Um, there's a, um, a couple of acres of land, so there's pl plenty to be going at. But this lovely lawn space, I mean, I did wander down the other day to get a view of the, the main house, and it was um, probably its nicest vantage point, whilst I'm wandering through all these buttercups and clover, was looking back at the house from this angle. absolute beauty there's some really significant trees around here as well one taking a little bit of the weather when it's uh when we have a bit of rain but equally to sit under enjoy on a uh, fabulous sunny cumbrian day so next step is to have a look at the little barn that we've got next door so it's, this is where we go from sloped floors hand cut oak um old sandstone history 300 years of uh, of of life through it and now we come into something from the outside which looks exactly the same but from the inside definitely tells a different story for the last few houses i've taken on i've had to put some serious steps in it's uh quite surprised <laughs> i'm not a lot thinner than i am but uh let's go to the front of this property we're greeted with two little lions let's have a peek inside so and i said that this is definitely a little bit more contemporary i wasn't lying so i'm going to start at the back here we've got uh, a great little snug and that is looking over 
those breathtaking mountains. Honestly, I know on this film, it isn't going to do it justice. However, this is for you to get a taster before you view, and it is one heck of a place. So we've got a really high quality, high finish, uh, melee appliances, well thought out area. And it's a great live-in family section. We have um, a, a utility room in here, which is brilliant, and a little loo, which is always very helpful. And the, the finish in here, you can tell how well it's been thought out. And even to the fact that these windows have an, um, an electronic opaquing device, which uh, means that when there's too much sun on it, it will automatically click to be able to um, uh, turn them clear, uh, sorry, turn them uh, cloudy. And then when there's not too much sun, then they'll open to be, uh, uh, to, to be clear. Very, very good. I love that technology. We've got a nice oak staircase with a turn. And I'll show you that from up here, which is rather nice. And then wait for it. Look at this row bedroom, stunning. And I hope I can zoom into this, but this little tiny window that's at the end, look at this. It didn't need to be there, but the fact it is, shows how well thought out this has been, rather than sticking a couple of extra blocks in there. It's galleried. So that looks down to the downstairs. And then we have a huge ensuite, complete with a bit of LED lighting, a bit of mood lighting, and lovely flooring. It's absolutely spectacular. And has an extra ancillary building if you are looking for a share of two families, or if you're looking for um, something with extra space for guests. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I'm gonna take you outside now. Okay, so as I said, this is a bit of a recap. What a spectacular offering. Fancied having your own hamlet ever. So a very large farmhouse, a barn at the back of it with a potential for conversion, the fully converted beautiful studio to the side. We have behind us a barn conversion with three bedrooms and three en suites and done to a spectacular standard and annexed to the back of that with one bedroom fully fitted out looking stunning land and at the top of a mountain with these views all over the Lake District National Park. What a spectacular opportunity. If you're interested in this property please do give us a call on 01768 881111 and we would be delighted to be able to discuss this with you further. Thank you.